Hey there guys, we got Harns in the house, Harns Knife and Tool. Remember months and months ago, maybe almost a year ago, the Harns Talisman knife, great little flipper knife, did a review on that. And then since then, I've, I've gotten a few Harns knives and this is Harns Knife and Tool as well. This is a fixed blade knife. One of the viewers gave me a link and said, check this out on Fast Tech. It's really fascinating. The design looks interesting. And I mean, it is a, it's a, it's a beast of a knife. I mean, it's, that's some heavy stock there and it's full tang all the way down G10 scales. You know, like the Harns Blazer, if you haven't seen the Blazer, you didn't see it in my, uh, then that means you didn't watch all the way through my video of, uh, Amazon budget knives because it was in there. And that thing is a, a hoss in any case and i've got another one i think coming um but fascinating and i saw it and it was on it was on fast tech i'll give you the link to it 52 dollars 86 cents comes in this black leather sheath and all that kind of stuff it's a 9 cr 18 mov so it's like you know Crudo knives, 9CR18, the, the H&K knives that Benchmade made for H&K were 9CR18. And I have a buddy uh, who works in the knife stuff, and he goes, if it's heat treated properly, it's really good. Um, so there you go. In any case, not terribly, I mean, you know, easily, it's very non-corrosive, so it's not likely to rust because it's a stainless it's stainless, not stain-free, but more resistant. And G10. And that look like wood. See the kind of the swell here? And see these pins that go all the way through? Interesting. Didn't try and take it apart. Not sure. Snap ring pliers, something. If you wanted to, I don't know. It looks like some kind of a red liner, and I don't know if that's felt or what that is in there but it's smooth the fit and finish is good it's it's kind of squared off here it's not like a total round feel it's more you know squared off on the top and the bottom in that regard but i mean it's not raw i mean these are nicely broken edges here and that's that's some grippy g10 huh interesting looking stuff uh, but it's a big old blade, isn't it? It's like a 10 inch knife. Where's Bertha? Come on, Bertha. Where'd you go? Where'd you take off to? I need you to measure me something up. Seriously, I, I need you to measure me something up. Oh, there she is. Sitting right in front of my face, of course. In any case. Of course, that's the last place you look. It's the most obvious. Five and a half inch blade, uh, 10 and three eighths overall. So about what, 26 and a half centimeters and about uh, 14 centimeters. So 140 millimeter length blade. That's a dog. So that's, that's a good sized knife. And it feels like a heavy knife. Let's get the weight. Let's get, did, you see the, did you see the leather sheath? It's kind of interesting. I like the style of the leather sheath here. And it's leather. It smells like leather at least. See? So there's for your belt. Snaps together. Seems good. Yeah, I like it. I mean, it's, it's kind of a nice design. In any case, 50, 58 buck knife. What can I say? It's not 300 bucks, so. Um, ounces. Throw it on. Okay, not quite tan, so it's it's 282 grams. Well, gosh, I think we've had some folding knives that damn near hit that. So okay, it's not terribly bad, but it feels like a chunk, doesn't it? Oh, where's my calipers? I'll tell you what. Zero amount, okay. How fat is that bulge in the middle? Whew, hit the high spot. 
almost an inch 23.6 millimeters let's see if we got blade stock here okay five millimeter blade stock 0.19 two tenths of an inch mm, I like that blade design it's a little bit of a recurve right see you can see a little bit through there see just a little got it held down now there's a little bit of a recurve in there. Yeah. Just a tad. But a full flat grind. Looks like it's pretty uniform. The plunge looks reasonable. Feels good in the hand. I mean, you know, as a whatever you'd use it for, like a beater knife or whatever, for outdoor. That way you're not, you know, you're not taking down some really expensive knife. But not bad at all. Well, let's check one more thing. Let's see if we can get a little reading on the, on the, on the, and I got to look around the camera to see if I can get this. Behind the edge. Ah, crap. What was that? Three tenths? So about 30 thousandths. Let's work our way in. Somewhere in there. 0.03. Right there. So it's not as bad as I thought as far as thickness behind the edge goes. But it feels pretty sharp. Just thought I'd throw it up there in case you were interested. I mean, the guy that gave me the link probably is like, thought I probably went away and died or just decided not to get the knife. But I've had it for a while. Comes in this box. You know, nothing fancy. No pun intended there. <laughs> Any case. Okay. Made in China, obviously. And here's your... Information, you can pause and read if you want. Okay, they're talking about the heat treat and stuff on the, on the steel and this and that. So it, it's interesting. Um, no, I haven't done any field testing or anything. I wanted to put it out here first and don't know if I, I find a, an opportunity to do much with a fixed blade, uh, you know, Anything around the yard, pruning trees and stuff, I actually have loppers and normal pole saws and stuff. So it's not like you're going to use this unless you want to intentionally use it to try and field test it. So just kind of see how it holds up. In any case, fascinating knife. The Desert Fox from Harns Knife and Tool. Comes with a leather sheath. Just in case you were interested. Big old lanyard hole at the back. G10 scales, so it should be able to hold up to the weather pretty well. First of all, the 9CR18 MOV is pretty non-corrosive, and then the G10 is next to indestructible. It's pretty tough stuff, and that's a big old thick slab. So, yeah. Hey, what do you think? Make your comments below. 58 bucks, is it worth it? Trash, what do you think? I don't know. I got it because Harn's Knife and Tool makes some interesting stuff. And I just thought the design on this one was intriguing. Very intriguing. Not really much. Well, there is a tiny bit of a choil there. So, okay. Got me on that one too. Take care, my friends. Thank you so much for joining us at Love Them Knives. Flanagan, what do you think? Hell yeah, right? We're going to let them go. All right, guys. You know what we do around here. We love them knives. So stay sharp.